stage fire bar suspected of burning down an old restaurant at Browns Plains. The blaze caused hundreds of thousands of dollars damage and closed a major road for several hours. It didn't take long for the flames to eat away the exterior. On arrival, we had um, approximately a quarter of the building going well. For three hours, crews battled the blaze at Browns Plains as locals and late-night shoppers watched on. Once home to a Lone Star Steakhouse, the building was stripped to a shell by the fire. We'll be here for quite a while, getting down. Um, we'll get the fire investigators in to see what's, what's happened. One firefighter was treated at the scene by paramedics. Crews stayed there until 3 o'clock this morning, monitoring hot spots. Investigators were quick to establish a crime scene. But it is clear to us that uh, the circumstances are suspicious. The building has been unoccupied since the start of July when the restaurant closed its doors due to financial problems. The building was targeted by thieves yesterday morning. Staff at the Grand Plaza Shopping Centre disturbed two young males breaking into those commercial premises. After a short pursuit on foot by that staff, they located some property in bushland that had been stolen. Former Lone Star employees are devastated. I met my husband there, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of history there for all of us. Debbie Selby was a manager at the steakhouse. It's a bit surreal to stand here and actually see it in ashes. Some aren't as shocked. Sad, yes, but I'm not surprised. I cleaned over the mall just across the road here, and I see like people trying to start fires in public toilets and stuff. The building was being renovated with another restaurant due to open there in the coming months. Tegan George, 10 News.